Beekeeping is a very popular hobby these days and a challenging one, especially with our western New York weather here. So Mike Randall stopped by a place today that could take the sting out of your beekeeping adventure. There's always something buzzing at Masterson's in East Aurora. It's usually bees. Honeybees, that is. Aaron Holko knows the bee biz. Underneath these bees here, there's some closed off cells and there are baby bees in there. Aaron says people stop here to pick up protective clothing, bees, beehives, and two essentials, a smoker and one of these. No, it's not a crowbar, it's a hive tool. A little sharp pry bar that you use. The bee boxes get real sticky. But that's not going to protect you from bees. Right? Absolutely not, no. Keeping bees can be a honey of a hobby. Good to eat exactly like it is right there. Wow. That fingerprint right there is from my kid sticking his finger in it and eating it. Some bee people just like harvesting all that delicious honey. Others want to help the bees. They know there's something going on with bees and know that by putting healthy bees back into the landscape, they're helping bees. Aaron's dad, Mike, started all this. Who would you say knows the most about bees around here? Oh, I don't know that there's an answer to that, Mike. Um, we've all studied it. We all worked the hives. And Aaron's brother, Dan, says bees can have a calming effect. The crazier they get, the more calm you have to be, and I think that that's sort of a good life lesson. Bees did get faked out this February with a warm-up, followed by a cold snap. We would get real warm, the bees would get active, think it's ready for spring, and then we'd get real cold again, and then their cluster just can't keep warm enough. So. It was a really challenging year for beekeepers all over our area. Masterson's keeps their own bees and sells honey and offers classes for those eager to begin their own bee adventure. Here at Masterson's, they say they have 800 beekeepers in their network, but there's always room for one more. All right, where are those bees? When bees are the discussion, there's always that not so popular thing we have to talk about. Who's been stung the most? <sighs> <laughs> Probably her. <laughs> <laughs> and the winner is. Okay. In fact, Erin says she's been stung so many times, she's lost count. It's crazy. It's been such a long winter. I feel like I miss being stung. Kind of like it after a while. Spoken like a true beekeeper. In East Aurora, Mike Randall, 7 Eyewitness News.